In the previous lesson, we learned how to create the horizontal alignment for London Road. We also learned how to define the stationing as well as annotate the horizontal alignment. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how to review the geometry in a new tool called the Explorer. The Explorer can be used to browse and manage the data that's stored in your design file. It can also be used to review civil geometry elements, it can be used to delete elements, it can be used to create geometry reports, as well as remove stationing. All data is organized and displayed in the Explorer tool. As the design progresses, the information is automatically created and updated. In this lesson, you'll learn how to review geometry using the Explorer, and we'll also take a look at how to create a horizontal geometry report. For this lesson, we're going to continue working in the geometry design file. And to open the Explorer tool, navigate to the Home tab, locate the primary ribbon panel, and select the Explorer tool. Explorer tool will usually dock over to the left hand side of the screen. Also grab the edge of it and pull it a little bit wider into the view. Navigate to the Open Roads Model panel and make sure it's expanded. To expand it, simply click on the down or up arrow to expand or collapse it. Notice the Open Roads Model displays the design file name and also shows an arrow next to that. It indicates that there's some information stored inside of this design file. To see what information is there, expand the list, and you'll see a list of civil objects. So we want to focus on the alignments. So notice the alignments category here also has an arrow next to it. Left click on that to expand the list. You'll see there's a feature definition that shows up here. This indicates that an alignment using the geom underbar baseline feature definition has been stored in the file. Let's go ahead and expand that list. You can see here, once you do that, it shows the alignment name, London Road. Let's expand the list. So you can see there's a hierarchy going on here that shows you the civil elements that make up this particular alignment. Also, clicking on the alignment will highlight it in the view. Right clicking on the alignment from the Explorer, you'll get access to some other tools that you can use. Let's go ahead and create a geometry report. Select Horizontal Geometry Report. That will bring up the Bentley Civil Report browser. And it will be showing us a detailed horizontal alignment report. Scroll through the report. Review the information. Notice the formatting of the stationing and the bearings and the angles. This isn't the formatting that we want for our report. For our report, we want to see stationing in a format that has the plus symbol, and we want bearings to be degrees, minutes, and seconds. So let's go make some adjustments to the formatting. Navigate up to Tools, select Format Options, and here is where we can make some adjustments to the formatting of this particular report. Let's make some adjustments to the angular, the slope, the station, and the direction formatting. Let's navigate up to the angular section. Set the precision to zero. Set the format to degrees, minutes, and seconds. Navigate over to the slope precision. Set that to two decimal places. Set the slope format to percent. Navigate to the station precision. Set that to two decimal places. Navigate to the station format. Set it to ss plus ss dot ss. And then finally, where the direction is set, set the precision to zero and set the formatting to degrees, minutes, and seconds. From here, select close, and that will adjust the formatting in the report. Scroll through the report and make sure all settings have been applied. Now let's go ahead and save this report. Let's go up to File, select Save As. And then from the Save As type here, select dot .doc. We'll save this as a Word doc. Then key in London Road for the name. And select Save to save the file. From here, simply close the Bentley Civil Report browser to complete. 
left click in the view to deselect the alignment. When working with civil geometry elements, it's usually a good idea to have the Explorer panel open and docked to the left side of the screen. This way you have easy access to view any geometry that you've been creating and you can also review each individual geometric element. This is useful because you can see all the civil data that's stored in the Open Roads model. So to conclude, in this lesson, we've learned how to review the geometry using the Explorer tool. We've also learned how to create a horizontal geometry report. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.